In lesson 11.4, we learned that the area of a kite is equal to half of the product of the diagonals. So in this case, we have a kite. Um, I've got diagonal 1, which is a blue line, diagonal 2, which is the green segment. And the area of this kite is going to be half of the blue the length of the blue line times the green line. So let's apply that to a problem. Number 10 from our, <clears throat> from our book, we see that rhombus has a, two diagonals. One is 18 and the other is 24. Now there are two different ways we can attack this problem. We can realize that uh, we've got one, two, three, four different triangles. We have the height. We know that a rhombus forms right angles with the diagonals. And we can also realize that a rhombus is actually also a kite. Uh, now, not all kites are rhombuses, but all rhombuses are kites. So let's use, since we're on the area of kites, let's use the fact that we've just learned that the area of a kite is one half of the product of its diagonals to find out what the height. Now first we want to take a look at the triangles here. And again we have another 3, 4, 5 triangle. So we have a 9, 12, a 3, and a 4, and a 5 would make the sides of the diagonal, I'm sorry, the sides of the rhombus equal to 15. So the next step is to figure out what the product is of the diagonals of the rhombus, uh, which is also a kite. So we have 1 half d1 times d2, which is equal to 1 half of 24 times 18. And 1 half of 24 times 18 is equal to 12 times 18, which leaves us with 216 units squared. Now I know that the area of the, um, the kite is going to be the base, which is 15. The area of the rhombus is going to be the base times the height. Well, I just found out that the height um, I'm just sorry, I found out the area is going to be 216 square units. So I know now that the height is equal to 216 over 15. I can divide both the numerator and denominator by 3, and I get 72 over 5. And that is my answer.